all of it literally had to happen for me to be who I am today. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Moni here and I'm back with another freaking video. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this title. I'm so sorry I see a spider on my window and I'm not here for it. Okay, it's gone. But where the f did it go? Anyways, I'm so excited for this title because y'all know like this is what I'm about. Like this is what we about. This is what y'all come here for and this is what I do. So we're going to be talking about all about how I feel like I found myself when I moved out of state. First things first, moving out of state is amazing, okay? This is why I have a whole YouTube channel around it. This is why I do it. This is why I'm about to do it again. This is why it's a conscious part of me. I feel like... When you are too comfortable in one place, that is when all growth, all enhancement, all empowerment is on a standstill. But when you're out of your comfort zone and you are out of the norm, that's when you force yourself to step outside of the box, to do things you've never done, to be someone you've never been, to obtain things you've never had, okay? Because I'm preaching right now. And I feel like this is why I feel so content in life. Who would I be? To look at the negative things in my life versus the amazing, positive blessings, things to come, the level up. I consciously choose to be grateful for the things that I have versus the things that I don't have. That right there is, that's why I'm able to be so happy, I feel like. And of course, I had my days, y'all. I mean, I cried so much last week. I cried so much last week, like so much. I see the spider, y'all. Even during the tears and the waterfalls and like, yeah i still have to tell myself that life is happening for me and not to me so anyways let's get into this video i'm super excited i want to talk to y'all all about it let's get into it i also want y'all to know that i am back doing my one-on-one -on -one coaching so if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching please click the link in my bio or on my instagram bio i have a lot of people that still hit me up every day asking for advice i literally try to give as much knowledge as, as i can to a broad you know range of people on my youtube channel i try to still message people with insight and motivation and advice and stuff but there's only so much that i can do like i in order for me to thoroughly help individuals i need to take the time the energy the effort i need to know exactly who you are what you're about what you want and that is when i feel like i can really 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 truly help you of course with my one-on-one -on -one sessions there is a, a you know there's a price on it because this is my livelihood like this is taking me away from other things that are making me money or things that i'm trying to you know make happen in my life so it is a price it's really just uh me you know needing that time in order to have that time i have to take myself away from things that i'm already doing so let me know if you're interested i'm super excited i like i told y'all i had a trial with it and it went out, it, it turned out great it turned out great so i'm excited for it if you're interested again link in bio and yeah let's get into this video so y'all um one of the main ways that i feel like moving out of state uh, help me find myself is the damn isolation. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, especially if you're moving alone. You're gonna have those lonely fucking nights. You're gonna have those days that you don't wanna get out of bed. I've had them all. I've had the lonely nights. I've had the f emotional, the most emotional nights ever. I've had the days I didn't wanna wake up in the morning. I didn't wanna get out of bed. I've had them all. As I just grow more into my spirituality and I get more into, you know, my higher self and stuff, all of it literally had to happen for me to be who I am today. The things that are happening right now, the phases I'm going through right now, the things that are, you know, I feel like are not the best of me or things I need to work on are literally happening right now so that I can be the person who I'm going to be in the future. So every single part of your life literally happens for you, even if it don't feel like it, even if it feels like it's so painful, it hurts so bad, you don't want to go through what you're going through. I guarantee you, if you sit back and allow it to happen and focus on the inside of you, because that's the only thing we can control, I guarantee you that it's, it's working towards your good, good one, 
But two, you'll be so happy that some of the things that are happening right now because you'll have a better understanding and you'll have a better viewpoint and outlook on life. This is why I feel like moving out of state forced me to find myself because if I did not move out of state and force myself to be in the most uncomfortable position ever, I would still be doing the same shit I was doing in Baltimore. Just like the people in Baltimore, the people that still live in Baltimore are still doing the same shit that people in Baltimore do. I mean, it's not a bad thing. To me, it's not about bad or good. It's about what makes you happy. If that makes you happy, then that's a good thing. If it makes you sad, then that could be considered a bad thing. So it's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It's all about what you want. And it was all about what I wanted, and it wasn't that. I had to make that conscious decision. You know what, y'all? Like, even right now, I be having moments, you know, when I get in my thoughts and stuff. I think one of the most painful things I had to go through was losing my grandmother. Not being able to go to her and talk to her and have her prayers and her wisdom and just everything at hand. That has been one of the most hardest parts of it all. But I've learned so much just from that. I've learned that nobody is my property. I can't ever have anyone to myself forever. Life doesn't work like that. So in you know the situation with my grandma like passing away i've realized that anybody can go at any time i can go at any time when you live your life in a way that can serve other people when you live your life in a way that helps other people when you live your life in a way where you know you're consciously working towards growth that is literally when everything just you know you be at peace i can honestly say i'm, I'm at peace right now and that's how i can that, this is how i know this is how I know that like I'm really growing spiritually as a person. I'm really I'm really growing because the stuff that I'm dealing with right now, I don't let it get to me because I know that there is a bigger picture and everything that's happening for me everything that's happening to me is really happening for me. You catch that vibe? Like you catch it? You got it? You get it? Everything that happens in your life is literally all a part of the design it's all a part of the plan it's just a different type of level i'm trying to tell y'all this is why i feel like it like the shit helped me level up now in some ways i can say it definitely showed me areas that i needed to work on it showed me things that you know i'm not really great at moving out of state showed me that i'm not a good cook which i already knew but i'm like really I don't know how to cook like major meals. Moving out of state showed me that I was very people dependent when I lived in Baltimore. I was very, it was like I needed people. So when I moved here, being isolated and by myself was so hard. That was like the little breaking point that I had to fight out of. When I first moved out of state, when I first moved to Dallas, it showed me that a man completed me. And I'm smiling because I was just talking to this with my friend and I was very worthless to myself without a fucking man. And I need to stop cussing, so I'm gonna stop cussing. But it showed me that, like, like putting yourself in uncomfortable positions, like it, will, it gives you an opportunity to show yourself. Like, who, who are you? Like, what are you really about? That is what I feel like help it helped me in so many areas and that just that's just to name a few i really want y'all to be encouraged i really want y'all to you know make the decisions i don't want y'all to let fear to overcome y'all when it comes to making a decision to move out of state because at the end of the day the fear is always going to be there you're never going to feel 100 percent ready and if you wait to feel 100 percent ready you're never going to make a move so try to work with the fear you know see it accept it feel it but still move forward with what you want to do because at the end of the day nobody's gonna do it for you nobody is damn sure nobody is gonna hold your hand while you're doing it so yes that was a little word of the day i like that <laughs> word of the day i hope that you guys feel encouraged I hope you guys do something you never did before and I hope that you love this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow my Instagram at the Imani Collins, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.